folks, welcome back to the Face Stuff All Star Season 11 vlogs. This week we had the top five, so things are gonna get a little more headache, but it's gonna be interesting. This time around, they had a challenge where they had to take an actual Polynesia Hawaiian god and incorporate that into their makeup. And the twist was they were getting actual Polynesian dancers and they were gonna put the makeup on them and they would perform an actual Polynesian dance when the, well, last looks, which is not bad. Though who struggled? Uh, Logan struggled with the, his cow. He decided to remove it at the end. And I'm kind of grateful he did because uh, his makeup almost had a pineapple head. Yeah, I'm not joking. And then Emily struggled where, to the point where she, the way she was doing with her uh, goddess, it looked like, it, I like it. I think part of it could, should have more red, but we'll get to that when we talk about the makeups in a bit. This week they had a special guest judge who was a, a judge from Face Off who took over Fenia when she went to work on the Final Hunger Games. We had Lois Burwell return, so it was so happy seeing her. She's part of the Face Off family. It's just, it's always a wonderful treat to see her. It's a lot of fun. After that, they did the Polynesian dance, and we get to where they usually do the best and worst, but they had all five go up, so we're gonna go for the best first and then talk about the worst. In the best category, we have George. His god was the god that had that of the ocean and the sea, so he did a, a uh, old age sea turtle makeup and it looked very wonderful and amazing. Can you imagine there's just a lot of silicone pieces in the makeup? Can you believe that? It just It blows my mind. I, I, there's so much detail in this. It's just amazing and I, I love it the bits. Next up we have Sig who had the god of war instruction who was the only one god to do human sacrifices. So he made an actual god I could see from Indiana Jones in the Temple of Doom, Kalima. <laughs> it's, it looks incredible. Uh, the cow, uh, the headpiece was made out of uh, foam and dear god almighty, it looks amazing. I love every bit of it. It's detailed. This is something I can really truly see and it reads as godlike so I think it's incredible. Next we have the the worst looks, um, we're gonna start with Tyler. Tyler had, uh, I believe it was that of nature uh, around for God. I can't remember it uh, clearly, but it looked interesting, but the judges called it a diorama because it looked like a diorama on the head of the model. It was weird. There were some things I did, like I liked the way he did the rocks. It looked incredible, but it was just weird. It was a little diorama and I'm getting sick of seeing vines. Even the way he was making the, the vines in the process, they just read up as horror vines, like actual worms. They didn't look right, it was weird, and I don't want to see Dyer on my head again. <laughs> no offense, Tyler. On the bottom we have Emily, where I love her makeup, I really do. I wish that she would incorporate more reds into it and maybe have a way instead of like using pieces of foam, she could have sharpened them a bit to make them more jagged and more interesting. That would have been much better than having some unedged pieces of foam. It's still a wonderful makeup. I just wish that it had a little more detail. And then we have Logan who had the god of agriculture and oh dear god, what? It, I don't like the face. I don't like the face. It looks terrible. It's just... Uh, the judge just said it looked like he had a disease, which I kind of agree. It looks weird. The flowers don't make sense. If you want agriculture, I actually have uh, things that make sense for uh, the islands of Hawaii. Actually have maybe the tropical fruits, their agriculture. Have certain grasses instead of little lilies on the face. It makes no sense. And he did these wonderful tattoos on the model, and they're covered up by the outfits, which it sucks because I've seen it, looked at the tattoos. They look incredible. I just hate they're covered up. It's not one of Logan's best works and I've seen him do a lot better on his previous season. So now who won the makeup challenge this week? Sig won and he earned a spot for the semifinals. So did George and Tyler, which I was surprised at. But let's get to who was eliminated this week. If you guessed it was Logan, he has he's eliminated this week. It's sad to see him go. But we now have our semi-finalists. We have Emily, Tyler, George, and Sig. They are the semi-finals, but only we're gonna get three for the finalist. 
Next week is going to be brutal. My DVR cut out before I could tell exactly what they're going to do next week. They didn't really say what the theme of the challenge is, but it's going to get harder. It's going to be challenging and oh dear god, we're almost over on this season. But I have news for you guys. I learned that season 12 of Face Off will be coming out in June. Don't know any more details about it, but yeah, we're going to continue these vlogs for season 12. I might do some ones on the past seasons because I haven't really seen those in a while and I just want a fresh reaction how I am from those. So that's all I have to say for this week. So until next time, I'll see you all in the Face Off All-Stars season 11 vlogs. Later.